Okay, thanks guys for coming back. So I started the um, Ronald Acuna Jr. the other day and I just wanted to share a little bit of it with you. And I have some of the reference material that I used, found some cool stuff. Uh, here's the angle that I chose for the background. And uh, BB-8 in the background. <laughs> we like BB-8. Kind of sometimes we put him on the row and kind of cruises around here. And uh, not these little little things are always laying around. So what I got? Let me show this you guys this a little bit better here for you. Get that angled up. So I gotta let's see how. I'm gonna lean back so I can see how that shows up on the camera. There we go. That's better there. And so I laid in the background. And I'll go show you the layers again, how I'm starting this one. And with this one, I do see the photographic layers because I still have the underlying that I'm doing with the background drawings. And then what I labeled as the Acuna layer and the sky layer and my drawing and color layer. So uh, my drawing and color layer is where I'm going to do most of the painting. And you can see that that is barely even started yet. Um, the sky, of course, I usually start with the background first. And you can see I have the background laid in. And I'm pretty happy with the sky. Let me get that to come off of there. Pretty happy with the way the sky come on. I don't know if you can see it very good on the camera. But now the next step would be, I'm going to start to do the background, you know, the sign probably next, the grandstands, and then the grass in the foreground. I will save uh, Ronald for last. And I think I'm going to do a little bit twist. Always like I to change the names and things in the background. Of course, I did put Sun Trust. Um, who knows? That might come off. That might change. But I'm probably going to leave that there because I have the sunburst there with it. Got the Atlanta Braves with the tomahawk. I think that's the trophies and things in the back on that uh, boardwalk or that walkway over here. And there's a little walkway to that uh, clubhouse way we have over there. But here where we have the Delta, I'm thinking about putting uh, Acuna across the back there. I thought that would have a nice little twist there. So I'm going to get working on this in stages. So pick up the video at another time and you guys can see how it's coming along at another time and thanks guys for coming along until we see this part again take care and we'll see ya hey everybody catch up where we're at here on this one and sometimes I'm working at late at night so I'm whispering sometimes so sorry about that I'm actually working in the morning a little bit rain here we're actually filming this at the time the hurricanes pass in north of us in Nicaragua right now and Matthew's sleeping my wife's sleeping working in the back so working on the Ronald Acuna here I'm just gonna start working on it let you guys see how I I do a few things and I get a closer-up view so you guys can see probably a little bit a little bit better Everybody's having a nice day out there. Blocking this in here. I'm trying to match. Yeah, it came out pretty good. I'm doing the background with the uh, people in the background, so I wanted to do a little bit different this one. I think that comes out pretty good on the camera there. So I'm going to get working on this, and you guys can watch me. And, uh, let's see, with the holidays coming up. I'll do some more videos like this. We'll do some, uh, I've got the boombox coming in here pretty soon. My wife uh, gets the boombox for me and Matthew to open up. She's my, uh, how do you say, my sole <laughs> sponsor. <laughs> we love her. <laughs> Just a joke. <laughs> and you can see what I'm doing here. I want to do just one little section here so you guys can see. So I'm going to get rolling here. A little bit more about me and my wife and Matthew. We uh, really enjoyed making those uh, couple videos where we're showing the countryside and Matthew was talking about going down to the river. So I mentioned maybe doing a, a video down by the river. Uh, a couple of our favorite spots. I used to actually take Matthew there when we were, um, when Matthew was real young. Uh, I could say that we always go down there still. And do some different things now. Matthew's older. I'm going to 
to share that with you in an upcoming video to give you an update. So the collecting is going good out there, guys. And open packs is going good. So fun to do that stuff. I've seen people to walk into the stores the other day and they're actually finding retail. <laughs> so that was cool. I don't know how long that'll last. <laughs> but always fun to see. What I did there is I wanted to get a little bit of the, um, let's see how that comes out in the background. Let me zoom in there so you guys can see exactly what, what I was working there. So this little effect that I found over here. Um, it's called, geez, I'm going to chop that up. Bokeh lights, it says, I guess. So I, know, I experiment with all these different, you know, all these different effects and stuff in here. Some pretty cool ones. So, something. so what I found is these little dots. So what I, you know, being an artist, I was like, let me try that out and see if that looks like people in the stands. And, you know, I really think that that, that looks pretty darn close to it. So did some of the shading in some of the areas up here. Some of the areas are still flat. I got to go through some of those areas still. And uh, what took a lot of time is this guy here. Fixing that, doing that, doing all that by hand. So we're gonna get rolling. I'm gonna show you how I do this little effect here. Watch this. It's this a fabulous way you can change the colors and anything like that. If any of you guys have ever been an artist or anything like that, I used to paint on canvas, so let's see how you can drop drop the colors right in. So what I'm doing is trying to fill in the spots where say people would have not been and those are the, the stands so we're going and we'll do some detail on those areas later on but I was experimenting I'm going to do a slow down video or a time lapse video of the last video I did and post that soon but uh, let's get a little bit lighter here towards the middle some spots sometimes that drag and drop doesn't want to cooperate Go. Just to fill in a few areas to make it look more uh, like somebody sitting back there. And then we'll cover up also a few spots. So, any of you artists out there, if you appreciate that, you can see how I do some tricks. And you know, everything's a, how you say? How you see it it's art right so I like to work in high detail but some of these backgrounds are very hard to do so let me show you how I was doing that the last one is where I lay the uh, background over the top to use to draw some things out I actually used two different backgrounds in this one and wow that looked pretty cool when you lay the other background on there <laughs> there's Ronald Acuna Jr. So what I'll do is I'll go in there and I'll actually draw him. I have the let's see, printout of that. Like I did Mike so you can see I just go in and I do it by hand. So let's take that out. Let's get this filled in here. You guys are enjoying your day. We've had about four days straight rain. Three or four, honey? Three? I got the day off today. It's Thursday. I don't know when this is going to be published. I have a weird schedule. I work Saturdays and, and I work uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. So that lays out nice. Now I'm going to match up the colors. Get those stands, those fans in the stands looking the same. I'm switch back over to that one. And blow it up so you guys can see how those get laid out on there. 
They just drop, those are just little dots that get dropped out over the top. So I'll drop some white in there. Just to blend in a couple of those hard areas. And that should print up pretty nice. This one now next. Oopa, that was pretty big. So. Hey guys, I just want to say too, if anybody's ever interested in one of these, I'm just going to keep rolling with this. I really am enjoying what I'm doing here. If uh, anybody's got a special request, I'm doing these digital, so I'm thinking what you guys like if, like say I get a set of these going, and so somebody says, "Hey, I really like that one." Um, if I could send you a digital copy, you guys can print your own. But I would really like to print them and send them to you, and do like a trade. But if anybody's like super interested and says, "Ah, oh, I really like that," I mean, I, if you can maybe donate a few dollars to help me out and keep me going, that would be great. I figured if everybody in the community could request one <laughs> and I could charge a dollar for each one god that would be cool I could make every painting I do I could make maybe a hundred bucks off each painting a hundred people asked for a um, a print <laughs> right huh that would be a great idea huh I gonna send everybody a digital print you guys can print these poster size that would be a great idea so in the background here, and I noticed, well, I got my phone now. I use my phone to get the high detail. So this little area here we're going to work on next. And I seen here in, I know it's not going to show up very well. Um, looks like some glass. So with some panes. So we're going to make that, try and see if we can get that effect to come out. And let's see how we do that. Let's go in here and see what we got. Get this pulse. What is that? Let's see what that does. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> I think we may have found something, guys. See how I find things? I didn't even know I had that. Look at that. Let's go try that and see what that looks like. So I think we should put a background color in here and then do that pulse effect. So where color do we have? See I hold and long press and I change the color to the closest background color. So um, to give you an example, if I... Ooh, that does look kind of cool. Huh? Um, let me go in here and go back to inking. And drag these color that color in there. That would be our sky color. Now, let's see if we can pull that effect off. That was over here. Pulse get the size correct let's see what we get I think we're gonna go with yellow to bust through let's see what time of day we got no it's more at night let's go with an orange there we go let's, see. let's just check this effect let's see what happens you guys are here watching. Let's see. Ooh. That kind of works. Let's see how that shows up on the camera. Oh, that kind of works, huh? So if I can get one of those to drop in there perfectly. I think we got this. Let's try. Ooh, I got one. There's another one. That's it right there. Well, it's going to be hard in between those. Let's try it, though. And I might have to come back over the top. Make it smaller. There it is. I'm gonna get those.
So hey guys, I don't know what part you're going to see on this video, but we're trying to finish up a few things here. It's late at night, so I got my wife and the kids sleeping, so I'm not going to be able to talk too much, but I wanted to show you here. I'm almost finished with all the background. And I'm ready to go into Ronald Acuna Jr. So I'm going to continue working here, so you guys can see.
So what I'll do is I'll block all that out and then I'll go in and I'll finish doing all the painting. So we'll bring it back when I get that all blocked out and I'll see you guys back next time. Thanks for coming by. Take care, everybody. Well, welcome back, everybody. And if you watched the video from yesterday, I'm really glad to, I'm really excited to bring the finish here to you. I did some final detailing last night. I woke up last night. I have a day off during the week, so I do a lot of my best work late at night, and uh, I wanted to share what I did. So I filled in some of the details. I put uh, Home of the Braves in the background, and I can customize this if somebody tells me they want to uh, I post the video here. If somebody wants this for themselves, I can customize it. I have the room to put your name on it. Um, I thought it something would be really cool to put the card immunity on there, and I went with... Uh, Ronald Acuna Jr. across the top of the billboard. I uh, got the clubhouse in the background. Don't know if you can see the lettering. I can pull it up there a little bit for you. Uh, finished off Ronald Acuna Jr. the lettering. Um, added some more shading. Uh, I think I got about it pretty much finished off. Put the ball in, and uh, I just I'm pretty happy with where it's at. I did some of the grass last night and uh, a lot of the details. I think I ended up at around. Uh, 50 hours, close to 50 hours finishing this one off. And, uh, geez, guys, I hope you like it. And uh, I'm really serious. This is for everybody in the community. Um, just send me your email, and I'll send you the JPEG. Um, I've been here uh, 15 years in Costa Rica, and uh, I'm going to get back to uh, what I love doing the most, and painting. So see if I can knock one of these off once a month. Of course, if my job, uh, uh, how do you say uh, my job changes or something like that and I get some more free time I'm going to actually be able to do probably one of these a week so hope you guys enjoyed this one I really like this one and this one came out really good I did some different colors and stuff like that I like to paint with blues and stuff like that and uh, put some blues in the shadowings and stuff like that so uh, some extra detailing and stuff like that so um, me and Matthew liked Ronald Acuna Jr. and uh, thanks guys hope you liked the video and uh, if you made it all the way to the end, this is a long video. Appreciate it. And uh, just wanted to share the whole, uh, you know, the whole journey of painting, painting the whole thing here for you guys. And uh, take care, as we always say. Pure Vida. And uh, stay safe, guys. Take care. Thanks very much.